Today, I'm going to be sharing the story of how I survived my dissertation proposal defense for my PhD in computer science. For those of you who don't know me, I'm entering my fourth year in a doctoral program for computer science. Before that, I double majored in math and computer science, and I have been busy working hard on the proposal defense. That took a lot of last semester and winter break. I'll give you an overview of what a proposal defense is. It's also called a dissertation proposal defense. So the proposal defense is a way to show to your dissertation committee that what you have worked on is worthy of a dissertation. And in my case, it's a combination of a document that shows off my research and my results so far, and then a presentation. And the presentation can be from one to two hours. So going into this, I had to put together a committee of five professors, minimum of five, maximum of seven, and then coordinate with them to find a time to do the presentation. And then ahead of the presentation, I had to submit the document that shows off some of my research. And thankfully, the proposal defense does prepare me for the final dissertation defense. So the proposal defense document is kind of like what I've done so far with my research, and it includes abstract background, methods, results, and then what's left to do, and a timeline for completion. And then the uh, presentation for the proposal defense also covers some of those topics, but allows for discussion and questions from my committee members. It's kind of like the training wheels for the actual dissertation defense. I don't think every university mandates that you have to do a proposal defense, but my university does. So the first step was confirming my committee. So where I am, you have to have a minimum of five professors and a maximum of seven. Four of them have to be in your field. So four were computer science professors, and then one of them has to be outside your field. The other one was IO psychology, and he is also in the business school. So I put together my committee, then I had to schedule a time so that I could do my presentation in front of them and write the document to send them the work that I've done so far. So if you're new here, my research is in AI, machine learning, and bioinformatics. I am not going to disclose the specific details of what I'm working on. I will share after it's all said and done, don't worry. What I am working on is an algorithm that analyzes fMRI brain data to show if certain areas of the brain are more active in people that have depression and mood disorders as opposed to healthy control patients. So that's the research that I've been doing. It's more technical and specific, and I promise I will get to share that with you one day. But today's focus is how I survived that big, crazy presentation and document. Document ended up being about 50 pages. There isn't like a minimum or maximum length for the document. Same with the actual dissertation. Although it makes sense that it's a very substantial document because you have been working on it for years. When you start your PhD, you work closely with one specific professor. So he has been helping me all four years with getting research papers published and answering really important questions. So he thankfully has been so helpful and he has prepared me for the moment of the actual proposal defense. And then I feel confident that I will be prepared for the dissertation defense. So leading up to the actual proposal defense presentation, I did work with him closely and I sent him drafts and met with him specifically for the paper because you send the paper to the committee first about like two weeks in advance. I kind of pushed it. I didn't give them the full two weeks before the presentation, but it gives the professors on your committee a chance to review your research a little bit before you go and present on it and they can come prepared with questions or they can see if you answer your questions when you do the presentation. One thing that I should have done more in advance is get feedback on my slides. So when I met with my advisor, and yes, he is on my committee, he is the chair of the committee. Uh, I met with him like a day before I was going to actually present. So I had like 40, 40 something slides and we did go over the things that were most important for me to include the following day. Because again, you've been working on this stuff for years, so it's kind of hard to focus on like, what am I gonna get done in a one to two hour presentation? So he gave me a lot of good feedback, but because I scheduled that meeting a day before I was going to actually present, 
I um, was pretty stressed out the day before. So I was working to make all of those uh, corrections and implement my professor's feedback. So that way I'd be prepared for the next day when I'm going in front of new professors who may be familiar with my research, but maybe they're completely new to it. And so I was working very hard from when I got that feedback the day before up until the actual morning of. So what did that mean? It meant that I did not get a good night's sleep before my proposal defense day. One thing that I like to tell myself in situations where I am stressed and don't have the best night's sleep is I do positive self-talk. So I tell myself, hey, you know what? Last night we didn't get a good night's sleep, but that's okay because we've been preparing for this moment. And you can do well in situations where you don't have good sleep. You can do well in situations where you're stressed because stress can make you perform better because all of your senses are heightened. So I try to frame things in a positive way because I know at the end of the day, it needs to get done and it needs to get done well. After I spent time making my slides, I ended up finishing with 87 slides. I uh, knew that I wanted to get to campus early because my actual presentation started at 9 a.m. But I got there probably at 8 a.m. and I also had to take an Uber because there was ice and I just wasn't going to risk it. That's another thing. Like if you know that there's weird weather, don't chance it. It's not worth it. It's not worth your stress or your safety. So I got the Uber ready. I got my outfit, everything, my normal routine. I had a blazer and nice dress pants and nice dress shoes. And then I get there and then I set up everything too, so I knew the room that I'd be presenting in. And I always do like a Google Slides presentation just because you can make the link shareable. Like, so if you just have the link, you can present. So you don't have to like log in, you don't have to have a thumb drive. So that's what I did. So everyone showed up and I did have one student guest, one of my best friends, and she's on my research team named Jamie. So I'm happy that she came. It was open to the public, but in my head, I didn't advertise that it was happening because I was kind of stressed and it was kind of a weird day with weather and everything. Uh, so I had my committee and then my friend for support and we started and uh, things went pretty well. The scope of my research is so deep. So sometimes getting deep and technical, there's questions. So thankfully I did answer those questions well and I did get feedback on like what I could, be, could improve on. So that's good for me to know the kind of things that they're thinking because my dissertation document will be reviewed by academics. But then in terms of the presentation, I need to be able to highlight the key things that are technical, but not getting boggled down in too many technical things. So that was sort of my feedback. I ended up presenting for about like an hour and 40 minutes and then I was asked to leave the room and then the five professors deliberate and they decide whether or not this student and their proposed dissertation topic does qualify and is worthy of being that doctoral dissertation. Or they say, uh-oh, wait, this student needs more work or isn't worthy of a doctoral degree. So I go out of the room. I'm like a little bit stressing, but like, hey, it's it's done, it's out of my hands. And then I see them open the door and my advisor says, you can come in. So I walk in and everyone's smiling and they start getting up and shaking my hand. And I look to my advisor, so my uh, the committee chair who I work with very closely and he's like, congratulations, you passed. And so I was so happy and thrilled and relieved because a lot of work went into this and because it's a good sign, it's, a, it's very validating that I have come this far and that there is a path to the end. So one of the elements in the dissertation proposal defense is that you include a timeline for completion. So what other questions you need to have answered, what other things you need to complete before the end of your doctoral degree. And so it was helpful for me to put that together. And also because that got approved, I have a plan for the rest of this semester. So in the end, I had a very positive and rewarding experience. I feel very relieved. I feel excited to attack the rest of the dissertation writing, some of the submissions for journals that I wanna get published in. And I know this semester is gonna fly by. 
but I'm excited to bring you guys along in my journey to complete this PhD in computer science. I'd love to show you guys like what I accomplished today, what I accomplished this week, so that I can show what it's like to be in graduate school and studying computer science and AI and machine learning. I also have some fun side projects that I'm working on. So I'd love this to be a place where I can share what it's like to be in computer science doing a PhD, but then also teach. Like I wanna educate and experiment with AI and ML projects. So if that sounds interesting to you, please follow, subscribe, like, comment. I want to hear from you guys. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you soon.